Hello, and welcome to Classic Mode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today, we got a, we got a surprise. Aw, oh, what a perfect square, since we can't have random, it's finally a perfect square. Because, look, look at all these, I told you I had them all completed in the review, but you didn't believe me. We got Piranha Plant, New Bloom. I've been... I'm really glad they're giving DLC characters their own route in Classic Mode. That's very cool. Very cool of them. But before we jump into this and see what exactly his Classic Mode path has in store, let's talk about his costumes for a minute. So let's just real quick talk about some of his costumes. First up, we got his second costume, which is based on his design from original Super Mario Bros. That's wonderful. It's just... The green and the yellow, just beautiful. It's based on the sprite and the artwork. That's I love that. Uh, this yellow, um, a bit, a bit of an odd one here. Could just be a yellow piranha plant. Uh, but more closely, they're like the glad piranha plants from Super Princess Peach, or maybe even the gold piranha plants from <coughs> <coughs> New Super Mario Bros. 2. Okay, moving on. Uh, we just got a pink piranha plant here. I don't, I really don't think this is based on anything, it's just pink piranha plant. Love it. Uh, here, we got the inky piranha plants from Super Mario 3D Land, although, to me it looks a bit more brown than black, but the icon is black, so it's, it's an inky piranha plant, you know that. Uh, and here it's my boy, my boy, bone piranha plant, from New Super Mario Bros. 2. Review of that coming soon, ish, soon-ish, is what I'll say. <laughs> and then this purple guy. The spiny piranha plants from Super Mario Galaxy, also called Piranha Creepers in Super Mario 3D World. I particularly like this one, because it's the only one that changes the lip color. And finally, similar to the second costume, this is the underground appearance of the piranha plant from original Super Mario Bros. Everything's there, all the details. So cool. And you know what, we're gonna go with this one. I think this one has grown to be my favorite of the designs. So that's what we're going to use for New Bloom. Is that a piranha plant? Not so loud. She'll hear you. Did someone say piranha plant? Oh, no. I wrote my thesis on piranha plant. I've spent years studying Ganon Cannon. I wrote my thesis on piranha plant. There are just so many species. You got your basic frog plants, your fire frog plants, Munchers, jumping piranhas, wild patchouli piranhas, propeller piranhas, maple piranhas, chewies, vegas skylax, piranha pets, piranha sprouts, frog piranhas, peel tree piranhas, proto piranhas, piranha bonds, piranha beans, mom piranhas, small piranhas, blaster piranhas, piranha planets, bungee piranhas, big bungee piranhas, oaf, nipper dandelions, spider piranhas, dino piranhas, fire stalking piranhas, piranha corpse, prayer piranhas, big piranhas, stalking piranhas, big fire piranhas, prickly piranhas, peewee piranhas, inky piranhas, gold piranhas, bull piranhas, big bone piranhas, piranha pot, piranha creepers, nipper squirt patches, paper fire piranhas, poison piranhas, big poison piranhas, upside down piranhas, kitty piranhas, Whoa! I haven't even started with all the minor variations! Enough, Faridi! I never want to hear the word piranha ever again! I guess that means I'm not getting any fighting tips. Thanks, Faridi! What difficulty are we gonna go on? So, piranha plant... I don't think they added piranha plant to the mural. They add them to the total character mural but not to this one. So we're just going to go 5.0. I'm probably going to die and have to continue, but I have the gold. You know, I don't have the gold. I have the ticket. I only have one ticket. I'll get more rewards if I use it. Let's use it. <laughs> means I don't have an out. If I die, it means I have to use gold, and I'm not restarting this. New Bloom, Horde Battle of Inklings. So I've used him a little bit, a little bit of a... Whew, a little bit of Piranha Plant. The thing about it is, though... Man, I'm not used to using the grip, the Joy-Con and the grip, which is what I'm using. I'm just, yeah, it feels weird. That's yeah, gonna break that. I die on the first one, I'll be very disappointed in myself, as I just almost did. 
Look, we have we have we have one guy left. Yeah, I haven't been using Piranha Plant very much. Like the day I'm recording this is the first day I've used him. That's not gonna move up. I learned something re semi recently. Uh, the, the amount you move up on the mural is based on how much damage you take. So I only moved up 0.6 percent. If I got that perfect zero uh zero percent, I would have moved up point point. Point eight or point nine? I think point nine. Ready, go. Dark Samus and Ridley. Is it about colors? Is it color based? Ooh, no! Come on, you gotta damage them at least once. It's weird. So, I'm not I'm not familiar with Metroid Prime really. Um, so it wasn't a huge bummer to me that Metroid Prime Four was delayed. But like, so. Have Dark Samus and Ridley ever really interacted? Like, I know that they've both, like, had some connection with the Phazon. Oof. You know what attack I really like? That one that I just missed. I really like his, um... I really like his down special. Based on, a. Uh, based on trailers, I originally thought it was a counter move. It's not. It's not a counter. Yeah, I only point three because I took a lot of damage there. Yeah, I've been like all of this game, other than the first impressions I recorded, was done in handheld mode. So like actually looking on a screen is very off-putting, is my excuse. So Simon and Richter, that's odd. That's a little odd. I'm trying to figure out new Bloom. We're, we're maintaining series, so a horde of inklings. Piranha plants can shoot ink. Are we just representing all the different kinds of piranha plants? Oh, well, bye. <laughs> bye, Simon. Oh, that, that was sad. That was kind of sad. Kind of, not really. It wasn't too, it could have been much sadder. Least sad. King K. Rule and Krom? What? Maybe we really are basing this on, like, certain types of piranha plants. Ugh. I'm literally setting myself up to get hit by him. I don't know what I just held in my hand. Water, water gives me strength, bud. No, I'm dead. No, I. Wow, he died first. Thank goodness. I honestly didn't think he was in range of that. Man, man. Okay, we're doing. We're not doing terrible, honestly. Isabel and Daisy. Like leaf and leaf and flower? Is that what we're going for? So uh, I once did a tournament of only CPU Isabels just to see if they would, on an off chance, uh, per, with uh, the only item being on uh, assist trophies, just see if on the off chance they they'll accidentally uh, trigger the infinite. It's this trophy glitch. See, it'll go up more this time because I didn't take a whole lot of damage. They didn't the whole time. I also did one of Villagers and Isabels to see if they would crash the game. They didn't. I don't know if they ever... I don't know if they ever patched those. They really don't need to because they're so particular that, like, they'd never... They'd really never actually happen. Incineroar and Ken! Wait! Because they were both in, in the... Tr their... Eh. They shared a trailer. Nope. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. But they're fighting each other. I keep thinking... I'm sorry. I keep using the wrong button for... That goes... It doesn't go through walls, but it goes through platforms. Mine. I want to show off... I really want to show off his final smash. I love it. I love his final smash. Not going to, though. 
it's it's PD Piranha from um, Smash Bros. Brawl. It pretty much like summons a big old PD Piranha. He doesn't. I thought from the trailers, I thought he turned into it. He doesn't. He just summons it behind him. But he's got the cages and everything, and he puts you in the cages. It's just such a neat reference. Brawl, Brawl holds so much nostalgia for me. I haven't died. And what is this? Is this the last one? Uh. Oh, nope. Okay. Is this the last thing before the boss? It might be. That's a good attack for clearing stuff out. Yeah, not gonna make that. Again, Joy-Cons, dude. Like, I know I should never blame the controller, but, like, it's really hard to be particular uh, when it comes to jumping uh, when you're using Joy-Cons. See, honestly, I don't know what the right way to get up there is. I think you have to have an attack that goes through that platform to break the thing and then backtrack before the, the darkness portal catches up to you. I don't know. Didn't break... I always feel bad when I don't break 100,000 on the bonus game. Rothalos. Rothalos. Boy. I'm glad it's not Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Honestly, Nintendo, if you can make... If you can make it so that none of the DLC characters fight Rothal or fight uh, Master Hand and Crazy Hand at the end of the roots, I'll be... Um, I'll love you. Because I'm so sick of them. I am... So gosh diddly darn sick of Master Hand and Crazy Hand. <laughs> when you have all these unique original bosses, and then you give me Master Hand and Crazy Hand. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Hold up, there's a... I don't know the timing of hitting him with the Deku Nut or a small thing. This. Pitfall. That makes him do it. Does it have to be like in his face? Nope. Man. Oh, gosh. I do like that he changes to the spiky version and the, uh, what is it? Patui Piranha? Uh, when he does a side special and then his actual side smash. Nope is like a, a spiny, spiny thingy. Nope. I'm gonna, yeah, I thought so. Thought that might happen. That's fine. I don't have a ticket to spend. Uh, we're not above 8.0 anymore. That's fine. If I die again, you'll know I'm bad at this game, which you should already know based on gameplay you've seen. God, man. I've also become so reliant when I'm just single-playering it, like against CPUs, uh, w of doing smash attacks with the right stick. Gosh, diddly darn. Honestly, his uh, his aerials don't have big hitboxes. If, if I had one complaint about Piranha Plant, finally I... Mm. See, that did a lot. Freaking... Yeah, there we go. Look at that taunt. Look at that taunt. And look at that taunt. I like that the, uh, the up taunt does... um. Does the pipe sound effect? That's real, that's real neat. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Boy, that right there. <laughs> nice music. So I'm gonna play through this, but you're not gonna see it. But I want the rewards I get by getting maximum points. So yeah. And let's see that picture. Let's see that picture. Yeah. I love it. I love him. He's precious. Product Plant's great. He's a good character. Got him for free. Oh, wait. Let's see our increased rewards. Look at this. Oh, oh, they give them their own fighter spirit. That's awesome. Naked Snake. Not new. I can, I can, um, dismiss these. Get some sick, some sick cores. I can dismiss all of these. Man. Man. I've reached the limit for those rewards. You know which ones they probably are? It's probably slow FS charging. It really could be any of those three. I have a lot of them. I don't use them super often. Or it could be the snacks. I haven't used snacks in a really long time. 
See, once once you once you beat World of Light and New Game Plus of World of Light, you really have very little to do. But that's why they released DLC for more classic mode. And um so now to continue, uh we're going to be doing All-Star Smash for Piranha Plant because that just seems like the logical course of action to take next. Studying Ganon Cannon. 